Stimulus checks will not show up in your mailbox for another couple of weeks probably, but this weekend small businesses have begun applying for money to help them pay salaries. Problem is it is first come first served and already lawmakers suggest more legislation might be needed, potentially another stimulus. Congressman Colin Allred is our first guest this morning. The Dallas Democrat is on Skype with us from his home. Congressman, good morning to you. Good morning, Jason. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Speaker Nancy Pelosi has said there is likely need for another stimulus package. Who would that one benefit? Well, we have a few holes that we're going to have to fill. Uh, first of all, we're going to have to probably do another round of direct payments to individuals. We've already heard uh, that small businesses are having a hard time getting access to some of the funds that we have made available, and so we'll have to do something there. And we'll also have to support our cities and our counties and our municipalities that are taking on enormous costs right now. We had a lot of money in the last package for that, uh, but for towns that were under 500,000 people, which I have several of those in my district, uh, you're not getting the direct support. It's coming through the state first, and we, we want to try and take care of that as well. Congressman, how soon might something be under consideration? Well, I think it's, it's, we're talking about it right now. We've had conversations all throughout this week. I've been on conference calls all day long with our caucus talking about what the various options will be. Uh, this is what we're considering to be the mitigation phase of this, where we're trying to get through the immediate crisis that we have. Uh, and then we will move into the recovery phase, uh, which you've actually, I think, seen the president talk about as well, which is potentially doing something on infrastructure, uh, trying to recover uh, as we come out of this and will likely be in a worldwide uh, recession. Let's talk about this first stimulus that's out there now. It's called the CARES Act. Do you think this will be enough to keep small businesses afloat for the next two or three months? Well, the intention uh, is to create the Paycheck Protection Program, uh, which is hundreds of billions of dollars that we put into this program to allow small businesses to keep folks employed, to keep them on the books. And if they've already laid off those folks, they can bring them back and they can get access to this loan and have that loan forgiven. And so the idea here is to keep people paid through this immediate crisis. But if the money's not getting out there or if the administration of the process is too clunky, then we understand uh, that that's gonna get in the way. And so that's what I'm watching to see. Uh, we've done several Zoom meetings with our local chambers of commerce to try and talk about how this is working. I've asked and sent out um, uh, surveys to our small businesses in the districts, asking them, how is this working for you? So we need to get feedback as well so we can plug that into the next bill if more is needed to be done. And Congress, part of, Congressman, part of the Paycheck Protection Loan Program you guys made it available to banks so you could expedite this and get the money immediately to these small businesses that need it. Bank of America, the second largest bank, was the first one to physically get this going. And we're already hearing from all kinds of customers who say, hey, I'm a small business. I don't have any debt. And because of that, I cannot apply for this. Apparently, Bank of America is telling us that they're only processing loans for stimulus if you have it previous loan from them. So you have to have debt in order to uh, qualify for a loan. Is that the intention of what you guys wrote in the bill? No, it's absolutely not. Uh, we're trying to get to every small business, uh, the mom and pop shops that are out there, uh, the self-employed even uh, that are out there. And some of these folks have not, as you, as you mentioned, have not accessed credit before or needed to do that. And so this is their first time having to go through this process. Uh, but we are actually here to help with this. My office can help. Uh, if you are a small business owner or if you're self-employed and you want to get access to one of these loans, you can give us a call, go to my website, allred.house.gov backslash COVID-19 small business. Uh, we have a guide there that you can download that will walk you through the steps. You can also give us a call and we can connect you with the Small Business Administration. Uh, but to the lenders out there, uh, we're going to have to oversee what they're doing and make sure that it's not just the most sophisticated folks who are getting access to this funding, because those are also the folks that will probably be, the, be able to handle this crisis the best. We need to get this out there to the folks who are employing people and get it out there as soon as we possibly can. And to reiterate, Congressman, is there a message you have for Bank of America or for anyone else that might prioritize some of their small businesses over others? Well, I understand that they have existing relationships, but that should not be the, the number one criteria here. There's enough money available that as long as they have capacity to take loans and to take applications, they should be issuing those loans as quickly as possible. These are 100% federally backed loans. They are in no danger of losing any money as a bank. Uh, and we have to get this money out there uh, to make sure that we keep people employed through this crisis. Otherwise, we're going to see huge spikes, as we already have, of course, in unemployment and reliance on other government programs. Uh, and we're trying to keep these folks employed so that when we restart the economy, they can get right back to work and we won't have as long of a period of ramping back up. 
Congressman, you've held uh, three town halls so far. Uh, what is the biggest question your constituents have for you? Well, in the most recent one that we had over 8,000 folks join on a telephone town hall, uh, we got a lot of questions about the unemployment process. As you've seen with over 6 million applications and Texas having a huge spike, uh, the Texas Workforce Commission has been overloaded uh, and folks are not able to get through. And we've been told uh, by the Texas Workforce Commission to recommend that folks call or go to their website early in the morning or later in the day when the traffic is lower. Uh, that's really an unacceptable scenario. And one of the things we have discussed uh, is making sure that we support the states that are going to be administering our unemployment program uh, going forward. So unemployment has been a huge part of that. But there's still a lot of concerns about the actual virus itself. We're battling misinformation, uh, frankly, Jason, on what is happening, on how safe it is, on whether or not this is really the crisis uh, that we have all uh, know that it is. And so we're still battling that, too. All right. Congressman Colin Allred, a Dallas Democrat, thanks for being here and stay safe, stay healthy. Absolutely. You too, Jason.